Hey, Doc. Come on. I had the interview, and uh, it wasn't... Where did they put you up? Now yeah, go on, Quinn. Book Award, which I must read. Martha, you have every good intention, we know, but you're not going to read the rules. We know the rules. It is not my intention to bore you. Uh, then don't. Sorry. Now, we have until December 31st to make the announcement of the best piece of American fiction for the year. All of you, as previous winners, She's are going to do it. I have a question. Yes. One of the titles we've been considering is Mary Blake's Home Cooking. It's already getting some remarkable press. Can you believe that woman has ground out sausage for 10 years and suddenly a book comes out? That woman is a friend of mine. It's not your fault she wrote something good. <laughs> Even old Dr. No likes it. Thanks. Mary. 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 A messenger brought this for you. National Writers Award. And this. Book's great. And there's Thank a man you. waiting to see you. Who? Uh, Mr. Adams. Who's that? Come in. What do you want this? Yes, ma'am. Great. Wait. Thanks. Down, please. Time, almost every important literary figure in New York came here. Over there, will you see the restroom area? They had a weekly lunch and they called the Round Table. With writers like Robert Benchley, George Kaufman, Edna Ferber. Oh. What? What is that? What is that? That's enough. That's Come enough. And he proposed? Mary, I said no. Oh, because of your friendship with me? At least you got that right. Oh, except for that strange lapse into morality, you would have taken him, huh? <laughs> he sure deserved better than he was getting. Well, how did you know what he was getting? Did he describe it? Do you have any more petty discussions? Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! 